Just a quick flyover to show you where we are today. You can see the remains of an ore bin down there on the right with an adit behind it. We'll explore that in the second video along with those buildings up there that are now coming into the center of the screen. The area on the left that is now becoming the center, that's pockmarked with mining activity, is where we'll focus in this video. I want to show you just how extensively they worked these hills. Most of this work was done around World War I. And you can see they did quite a lot of work. In the center of the screen, you'll see the square of what's left of a shaft with a large waste rock pile around it. This is a good point of reference because we'll start on the ground very close to there. So as you guys can see, there are mines, shafts, adits all over the place in these hills. We'll take a closer look at these. Right here in front of us, it seems like there was uh, maybe a blacksmith shop or some kind of kiln or something uh, based on the, the slag and such and the charcoal wood and that sort of thing. All right, walking up on one of the larger shafts right now. This uh, waste rock pile next to it is pretty huge. And so um, I'm expecting this goes down a ways. Looks like the uh, remains of the head frame are right there where that cement slab is. Um, this uh, shaft has definitely seen better days. Try the rock test. Still going. Still going. Still going. Okay, it just stopped. Wow, that's uh, it was hitting stuff on the way down, so that wasn't a direct fall, but that's still uh, pretty impressive. All right, you see there's uh, all kinds of open surface workings there, and then I see a bunch of uh, see an adit right there, more up there, and uh, you can see they built the rock walls and such here, and then, of course there's shafts all over the hills here. A lot of stuff here. And of course those buildings and the ore bin are over there. So we'll uh, go check that out. As well as those uh, adits or adit over there. Alright, we are going to head over and get underground some of these adits and such over here. Look at all those rock walls. So this is kind of interesting, it's an adit that is completely collapsed. You can see the waste rock pile there. And you can see where the adit ran up here, past that pillar there, through there, and then continued back that way. But the whole top of it is just completely collapsed and come down on top. Interesting. And then we're going to head over and uh, check these out. Okay, so Mr. McBride just went inside that one. I just noticed there's some more adits up there. And now we're gonna head in and check out this one. Huh, you can tell there's copper here, obviously. This is the blue. Let's see what we're working with. Okay. So there's something going back that way. It looks like it might stop right there. I'll double check. And then, oh wow, there is a shaft right there. I'm just going to double check this one first. There's more of that blue from the copper. You can see it more clearly here. And it goes to the right. Oh, it does. It does go to the right. Wow. Loving those blues. 
Okay, keeps going. And I think I see light up ahead. No, I didn't I see a collapse. And let's see. No, I did see light. So that keeps going. It looks like it stops right there. I'm not willing to crawl through all that rat shit anyway, though. To get back there. And I'm almost 100. Yeah, it just stops right there. Now I can see it. So glad I don't need to go back there. And then this, as you can see, it runs up to the surface here. So let's go look down that shaft back near the portal. Okay, that's where we just came from. And then we've got this interesting looking shaft right here. See all the uh, supports and then it drops down there and obviously it's kept going at one time obviously but that's uh, plugged up now unfortunately. So it's open to the surface there and then you can see it extends out up there. Okay, this is looking down to where we just were. Just want to show you guys what it looked like <clears throat> from the surface. You say uh took out a fair amount of material here. And then that adit that Chuck went into is right there. And he hasn't come out yet, so it must be a decent size. So we'll uh head in there and see if we can catch up to him. Alright, heading on in into Chuck's at it. Got collapse or backfill right here. And looks like there's a bunch of stuff up there. Timbers came down here, and then you can see uh, what's above me here, one of those coppers. And oh, okay, it looks like it keeps going that way. Alright. Keeps wrapping around there, and then we're in a little uh, mini stope right here. And let's see what's down this way. Okay, that's where I just scrambled down from. And you can see there's a copper deposit there. And then the drift keeps running in this direction. I see some daylight. Oh wow, that's really cool. There's a big shaft here. Wow, this is really cool. Look at the skylights. Man. This is really, really cool. You see all the copper deposits there and the uh, timbering. I uh, see the. See, what's Back. that about, dude? I, I think they just stacked waste rock getting out of the way. I, something. But, yeah, see, it, it maybe it does go vertical, but... I mean, well, no, you got a rock, Andy? It looks plugged. I did throw a rock in. What happened? It didn't really go for it. That looks pretty steep to me, man. That's what I'm saying. I just looked at it. I was like, oh, man, wait a minute. That's a... That rock lied. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? Oh, is that, is that, a, is that a skip track? Um... Or ladder? I don't know. I'll be careful to get down there and oh. find out. Okay, so that goes that way. Okay, yeah, see, it's not the way. It's still good. Okay. See? I have successfully survived making it down. <laughs> and there's something going off. Does it go that? It goes this way? To the left Is here. Light? Daylight? And then, not yet. And then it's plugged there. And then there's stuff running off this way and to the right does it look? I can't tell it I goes as, it goes as far as I can see 
But I, man. Actually, I guess I can go down there. What's that? Yeah, I can. I can get down there. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I was gonna say you can probably go from here. So Chuck thinks that that drift is the one that kept running ahead where I uh, left, where I turned right, and so he's gonna go check that out. So we don't have to uh, scramble down this ledge right here, okay. if it can be avoided, because we're curious what is back there. Okay, so here's a view looking up that shaft. You can see all the timbers here, and then of course the, uh, the daylight right there. And of course you can see the blue from all the copper deposits and such. And there's that backfill or gobbing, whatever, right there. Okay, that's where I came into this chamber from, and I was just poking around down there, but it looks like it's possible to access that area from uh, over here, because I looked down and I saw some daylight, so I'm going to see if I can get in over here, because it would be easier that way. came from that chamber and dropping down that way that runs into that drift going off to the left I saw and then I don't know where this goes and there's a cool ladder right there and some uh, additional workings man look at all that woodwork that is great and then this is uh, the drift I started in on. Since I was focused on that chamber behind me, I think I might as well just go down here and finish that off. So I will rejoin you down there. Okay, so here I am at the bottom. Scramble down from up there. There is a drift running off to the right down here at my feet it says it's good so that's encouraging and then this is right there that's the area I was looking down into before so let's finish that up see some artifacts down here and yeah it looks like that that did run deeper at one time but not anymore I thought it was going to be easier to come down here, but now I'm not so sure. Maybe I should have gone down that ledge after all. Well, I'm going to turn the camera off so I can scramble over there and I'll rejoin you over there. Okay, I was just filming from over there. Um, I just made my way across this pit here. And here's a view up through that shaft that we're making our way down slowly but surely. And then behind me, you can see they cleared out a little fair amount of material, stoped out stuff there, and uh, here as well. Not sure what this was. Maybe a ladder. And so let's head up here and check this out. Okay, I just came from there, and I noticed that big jumble of timbers right there which is pretty impressive and there is a drift run off there looks like one right there here to my right uh, looks like that stops there and then off to my left here And that one stops there. Okay, so I'm back at that junction. And we just went down there. Let's see where these run. Okay, that's just a little pocket they cleared out and backfilled. This one keeps going though. Right there, and 
Looks like they stoked this out a little bit. And getting deep in front of us here. Oh wow. Huh. So let's see here. That drops down vertically right there. Maybe it wins probably. And then they cleared out a pocket right there. I don't feel like going down to winds today, so I am going to backtrack and check out the other areas of this mine. Because there's a lot more to see here. So we just came from down there, and I'm going to go film this one real quick. Ah, oh, you see that platform holding up all that rock right yeah, there? that bulkhead? Yeah. Interesting. Ah. Is it a little dusty still? Yeah, did you climb up here? Yeah, that's one of that. Where's it go? It goes up top into a little, like, you know, um, kind of a tubby in there. Oh, okay, well. There's some little cans and shit up there. That's right. I didn't... Okay, here's what it looks like with the UV light. Thank you, Geiger Mouse. <laughs> Thank you, Geiger Mouse, indeed. It yeah, does look pretty, I mean, even if it's not, like, fluorescent or anything, it still looks pretty cool. Yeah, it does. I thought... <laughs> <laughs> I went in some techno, yeah. I can overlay some techno in the edits. <laughs> I wouldn't want to walk out with this thing though. No. But, but it sure looks cool inside. Here's Mr. McBride. Squeezing his way through. Mama? <laughs> it's not so easy sometimes. No. So, head up a little bit farther up the hill. And... Presumably we can look down into where we just were, where Mr. McBride's heading. And there's also uh, a portico up there that we're curious about. Uh, yeah. Man, the altitude gets you here. Here's okay, so looking down into those skylights where we were, there, and here. And over there, and then we're curious about what's up there. Okay, so I was just down there, and we looked inside this attic, and it's, it's identical to what was below. I don't want to bore you guys with uh, identical looking stuff. So I just want to come up here real quick to show you how this timber is bent under the pressure of the rock and such. That is, uh, that's pretty substantial. And you can see, uh, you know, how it just drops down in there, just like below. See, it just drops down there. You guys aren't missing anything. There's a good view out over the site from up here, though that uh, bent timbers right there. And you can see all the uh, little shafts and adits below us and uh, ore bin off in the distance. Aside from the underground stuff, there's all kinds of surface, little pockets and holes and stuff here. You can see more of the, the blue from the copper they're pulling out. There's Chuck right there.